Now that our airlock is down there nice and tight and the balloon isn't really inflating that much, but if it does inflate ever so slowly, we'll just uh, pop the seal. I gave it a tiny little shake to get all that sediment off the plastic bottle on the inside. Just a quick little stir like that. We're gonna watch that balloon like a hawk, because if it gets too big, we're gonna lift it. Let that mead, we're gonna let it age until the 21st of September. We wanna check for alcohol smell. With instant yeast, it shouldn't take that long. Tampico has like 6% sugar. I had more sugar so the yeast could have plenty to feast on. And, and hopefully it turns into a delicious, homemade, easy to make honey hooch, like honey mango mead. The bottle's squishy, but it's not like tight, you know. The hole's big enough, but it's very slowly releasing pressure into the balloon. The lid's on there nice and tight, so that creates a seal. And it'll keep it from spilling. Now let's see how this, how it do. I may move it around to a shelf here. Guitar bags. The closet is cold, dark, and dry. The fermentation has started. squishy so it's not completely pressurized. There is a very tiny hole at the top. We're gonna watch that damn balloon so it don't overinflate, yo. We'll check it back on the 21st of September. Let's see how our honey meat is doing. The homemade Tampico. Mango punch, uh, honey mead. I mean, the airlock's not the most professional, but this this can be used to do an airlock. You just gotta wash it. This, the balloon gets to be like massive, you know. You just beep. There should be some tasty wine if it ferments properly.